All right, so finally getting back into uh, trying to make videos. Currently right now, my hand is injured as uh, dumb as that sounds, but it's hard for me to play like any video games or lift anything heavy. Can't even like turn my wrist. Like I can turn it to the right. I can't turn to the left. It's very painful. Uh, so I am slowing down on buying mice and mouse pads. So reviews are going to be a little bit slow. However, I feel as though this is also a great opportunity for me to try and get some reviews out for mouse pads, which obviously by the title and uh, what we have here, we have, are doing a review on the Pulsar Super Glide. The Pulsar Super Glide is going to set you back about $125 or at least for me living here in uh, the US. Obviously shipping might vary for some people. However, for me, $125 for the XL size at 490 millimeters by 420. So I have had this mouse pad for just over a month now. And in terms of actual usage of playing video games and just everyday like usage of YouTube work, whatever I've I've been using it for about two and a half to three weeks now. And so obviously this wouldn't be a static vortex review if I didn't talk about the negatives first before moving on to the positives. So first thing I want to talk about, this is especially going to be um, a big problem or potential big problem for uh, newcomers to the glass pad scene or even just hard pads in general. A uh, very small minor thing. However, I feel as though this is going to have to be reiterated every single time for any of these reviews. But if you do have a pet that sheds a lot, or even if you, um, me personally, I shed quite a bit uh, for my hair. So you are going to have to clean this mouse pad quite a bit for uh, dust and hair. Otherwise, you are going to feel every single little bit of grain whatever uh especially here uh, if it gets stuck in between your uh, skates and the pad you are going to feel it rubbing up against the pad and scratching or what seems like scratching it's not going to damage the pad but uh you know you are probably going to be a little worried of hearing that and feeling it so anyways moving on to the actual main problem that people might have or concern not so much a problem but the main concern that people will probably have is uh, the speed of the pad and how controllable it is. So this is where it is both a pro and a con for this pad. If you are that speed demon trying to find the fastest pad just in general, out of cloth pads and uh, glass pads, whatever it may be, I highly recommend stop watching this video, go buy it. If you are that type of person trying to find the fastest pad on the market without like trying to do anything, that's also the biggest con though. Uh, it is quite fast. It's very fast. Uh, obviously on camera showing it, the glide isn't like super air hockey type of glide, but it is fast. It's very quick and responsive. Uh, however, I will say for the most normal users, it's probably going to take you about two to three months to adjust. And even then it still might be a little hard to control me. I've been using my SkyPad 3.0, Razer Atlas, the Serapad, and this like back to back, um, for several months now. And even I still can't control this, like the Razer Atlas, Serapad, and the SkyPad 3.0. I can all control pretty well this one. I tend to overshoot like quite a bit. Like I overshoot about like 95% of the time with this pad versus around like 40, 45% with the other pads. Uh, so not to say that's uncontrollable, but for most users, it's probably going to be a little too fast and not super control uh, oriented. So that's pretty much it on bad. Obviously that's going to be the biggest concern quality wise it is very good. It's actually very light as well in comparison to the Razer Atlas. My uh, SkyPad 3.0 is in a box in my closet so i can't really compare weights aside from like looking online uh too lazy to do that uh, however what i wasn't lazy to do was actually uh, grab some numbers here of sizes and pricing so i want to talk about that really quick so for the pulsar xl size this one here uh across all the boards for the three colorways they are all priced the same i have the red here 490 millimeters by 420 millimeters is going to cost roughly 125 dollars the skypad xl is five 
500 millimeters by 400 millimeters so slightly taller uh, slightly uh, shorter on one end and that's about hundred and thirty four dollars so nine dollars cheaper however I do want to note I am unaware if Pulsar has discount codes that you can use on their website Skypad you can use discount codes like creator codes with them I used a creator code for mine which took off about twelve dollars that is something to note so it does come out to a hundred and twenty two dollars even though that is three dollar savings uh, I do still want to get into numbers here and then we have the Razer Atlas which uh, recently came out and theirs is 450 millimeters by 400 millimeters so overall a bit smaller in comparison to the Skypad and Super Glide however it comes out at a hundred and six dollars so it comes out to 22 to 34 dollars cheaper in comparison to the Super Glide and the Skypad however me uh, I did get a ten dollar discount off of Razer's website from them personally uh, if you join up for their like Razer a silver program or rewards program uh, they do give you a $10 discount uh, so I did use that so I paid $96 instead of 106 so even if you go to Pulsar and Skypad and get their smaller sizes uh, the value is actually still worse than the Razer Atlas because the Pulsar Super Glide large is smaller than the Razer Atlas and more expensive I believe by 10 10 dollars around there like it's 120 almost 118 and the Skypad their pad is even smaller than Pulsar's large pad and that's also $120 so even worse value in comparison to Pulsar's large the Razer Atlas is the best value out of the three companies however in terms of like speed and controllability and all that I do have to do a little bit more testing with the Razer Atlas but just giving some numbers there on value or like price to surface area the Razer Atlas definitely seems to be the best so going through all that uh finally on to the good things even though i kind of already said it uh if you are a speed demon you really like speed you prioritize speed over everything definitely go for it it that is a super big plus this is definitely one of the most fun mouse pads i've used definitely interesting especially fun with this mouse however i can't use this mouse anymore um i have sapphire dots on this thing it's going to scratch like hell i don't even know if that picked up on the mic if it did that's insane of how scratchy that is and how loud that is but definitely a fun combo there because my wrist is hurting i cannot flip this mouse pad over however the base is also very uh good i actually really like the base uh feel as though they probably could have made the just went with like four dots or four squares instead of this whole slab uh definitely a little strange uh however i don't know how costs are with uh, that kind of base or that material another nice thing is of the three colorways of just white with red text which is similar to like this here that you can barely see red text a uh, very minimal design same with the black uh all black with i believe white text also very similar of just white text of uh, there and then red uh being the most polarizing here of the three being a fairly bright color and then obviously you got super all the way across but it's still pretty cool if you're into it i actually really like it matches very well with uh the death adder faker edition so that's very nice that they uh, had very nice simple designs obviously except for this one even then still very clean uh thus far it's actually held out held up very well i am not doing a drop test skypad themselves have done drop tests for theirs pulsar they haven't that i am aware of i don't know if people have posted videos of them dropping it to test the durability uh kind of a quick review here i didn't really speak too much on it so now do i think the pulsar super glide is worth it for the average user hell no i don't think so even though yes it is cheaper than a skypad uh however if you are wanting to get into glass pads the skypad 3.0 specifically the 3.0 is definitely a lot more control oriented in comparison to this super glide but it is still very fast but between the super glide and the sky pad i feel as though most new users to glass pads will be more likely or be more comfortable with the sky pad especially with it being a little bit more control oriented highly recommend to those speed demons out there if you're not a speed demon avoid it as tempting and cool as it looks avoid it but anyways short little uh review hopefully maybe hopefully it was informative in some way and helped you with your next purchase on a mouse pad but anyways uh see you guys later